The new Antioch Baptist Church in Randallstown, Maryland, is one of America's great churches, pastored by one of America's great pastors. The Reverend Dr. Kenneth Barney is a dear friend of mine. He is also one of the truly great preachers and teachers of the Bible in this country. He and his wife, Ellen, lead a church of several thousand people that they pioneered in the western suburbs of Baltimore, Maryland. This is an outstanding fellowship of God's people, and Dr. Barney is a very talented man. He's just released his new book, a memoir entitled The Visitor, and it's a surprising and very honest story of this man's spiritual journey. Here with Kenneth Barney, wonderful friend, dear brother in Christ, and a pastor par excellence of this great church, New Antioch Baptist Church in Randallstown, Maryland. But pastor, I'm here to talk with you about the second release of your new book, The Visitor. What a wonderful story. Tell us that story just in brief. What's this book all about? The book, The Visitor, is my encounter with God over uh, years of struggle, years of pain, years of perseverance. You mean you weren't born the pastor no. of a multi-thousand no. member church? No, no I way. <laughs> no way. <laughs> it was a journey, wasn't it? It was a journey. It was a journey. It was a long, tedious journey. Uh, but uh, not knowing that God was going to intervene in my life, I continued to persevere on the journey and the pathway of life, just going through life, coming from a home which was not a Christian-rooted environment. Yes. But uh, come from a home where that uh, there was God was mentioned, uh, the Bible was oftentimes mentioned. However. Uh, it was not a consistent uh, mention of it where that we were taught the principles to believe in God and in salvation and in the way of Christianity was to be uh, uh, explained. And you know, in reading this story, of course, you did come from a loving community where that was tight in terms of people knowing one another, yes. and yet there was a lot of tragedy also along that path, that journey. Yes, yes. Uh, I had a loving grandmother and a very caring mother, and I had some siblings and who we cared for one another. Uh, my grandmother was a great inspiration in our lives, sort of the, uh, the anchor stronghold that they kept the family together. Yes, in fact, uh, I fell in love with her. Yes. Just by the telling of your story. Yes. And I read it, I said, Oh, this is a woman I could fall in love with. Yes. Yes, she lived to be 95 years of age. Mm -hmm. She was a God-fearing woman, and, but she didn't pressure us or force mm -hmm. us into uh, Christianity or into uh, giving our lives to Christ. And so we did uh, uh, go to church, attend church. But you were a little rebellious history, <laughs> Pastor. Yes, yes. It, you weren't straight away. You weren't a two-gunner. No. You weren't a goody two-shoes. No. <laughs> Stirred up your trouble. I did. I strayed, and the foundation that was given me, I strayed away and went into the world uh, and sold my oats, yep. so to speak, yep. and got into uh, a sinful behavior, lifestyle, and uh, got involved with alcohol and got involved with uh, drugs, and uh, and then after that, my life became very miserable and very empty. You were literally a prodigal. Yes. You were yes. literally a prodigal, but yes. you did come home to yes. the Father's house. I did, and then, and the visitor, that's why I call the book The Visitor. God See the title. Did, God did come to me. He came to me and sought me yes. and pulled me to himself. That's really the most riveting part of yes. this story. Yes. I don't want you to give away too much no. of it because you have to read it in The Visitor. Yes. And it's such an intriguing cover just when you see the... The door just at a jar there with the light coming through it. Yes. I looked at it immediately. It drew me in. And this title, The Visitor, because that's really the heart of the story. It is. It is. He has been the unseen visitor. And he was there 
visited me and watched me in my life, I did not know that. And the result was a miraculous change yes. for you. Yes. And the fruit of it is yes. right here in this wonderful. This, folks, I have to tell you, I've preached in over a thousand churches of every size, shape, and persuasion imaginable. Pastor, I've got to tell you, this is one of the most loving, vibrant, dynamic, beautiful families of God that I have encountered and very well run. This is like church meets Pentagon here. It's a very disciplined, professional operation. Yeah. It's yeah. very impressive. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We, we do thank God for that. And this is our second edifice. That That's the right. That's right. allowed us to build. That's yeah. right. The other one it's right across, across the street. And, and it's beautiful enough. Yes. And you have to see this one. We'll give you a look. In fact, we'll take the camera outside. <laughs> We'll go through the sanctuary, give you a little glimpse of that. Pastor, you're going to do some book signings. I already got my copy of yes. your first book signing. Yes. You're going to do some more in the future. And I want to tell folks, you need to read this story. You just heard the pastor say this was a journey with yes. its ups and its downs. Absolutely. It was a long, this is a realistic story. This isn't, you know, whiz, bang, glory, nothing, no trouble. This, right. You're telling a real story about real heartache, yes. real struggle, that ended in a beautiful testimony yes. of Christ and of his redemption and power to change lives, and not just Pastor and Mrs. Barney's, but all the people under their charge and many people around the world who have been touched by this ministry. Get a hold of this book, not one, but two or more, and give it away. Makes a great Christmas gift. Hanukkah present, whatever you want to make it, Kwanzaa, you got it all right here in this book. Give it away this holiday season and share a wonderful story that will bring faith and hope yes. and love into people's lives. Yes. Pastor, yes. thank you. Thank, thank you, you for writing the book. Thank you. It was a great you. inspiration. Dr. Barney took me for a personal tour of the expansive facilities used by the New Antioch Baptist Church congregation. The worship sanctuary itself is just exquisite, teeming with people on any Sunday, often on any given weekday night. There will be concerts, revival meetings, Bible teaching sessions. It's a center for community life for the New Antioch community. And this is a facility that accommodates youth, young adults, men's, women's groups, mothers, and parenting groups. The story is partly told in this great memoir of Dr. Barney's The Visitor. Pastor, it's a beautiful facility, a gorgeous church, wonderful book. Congratulations. And I want to mention it's been endorsed by none other than Dr. Ben Carson, right yes. here on the front. Yes. Ben Carson being one of the world's most renowned neurosurgeons, Absolutely. brilliant man, famous for many things, including the separation, I remember, of conjoined twins. Yes. And you also have Dr. Barry C. Black, yes. the Senate chaplain, yes. has endorsed the book. Yes. Many others, yes. including humbly <laughs> yours yeah. truly, yes. because it's just such a wonderful story. Thank you for the tour. Thank you for the book. You are quite welcome. God bless you. Many heartfelt thanks to my friend, Dr. Kenneth Barney, his wife, Mrs. Ellen Barney, and all the good people at New Antioch Baptist Church. You be sure you get a hold of The Visitor. Get your copy for this Christmas season.